Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do a little update on Rigel, our 2023 Integra Vision XL 36C motorhome that we purchased last June. So this is our six month update, but it's actually eight months. Because we've been busy and doing a lot of traveling, so we thought we would let you guys know what we think of it after, you know, six to eight months of ownership now. And do we still like it and love it like we did when we first purchased it? Do we even appreciate some of the things more or less? So, Or do we wish that we had our trailer back? Or did we, yeah, exactly. Do we wish that we would have maybe went with something different like a fifth wheel or maybe a Super C? We put over 13,000 miles on it already, not even in a year's time. Yeah, that, a lot of that was going out west on our Christmas trip when we went to Dodge City and Colorado, Pueblo, Colorado, and South Dakota, Deadwood yep. City. We kind of touched on this a little bit on uh, the Dodge City uh, portion of our Christmas trip, saying how we like traveling in the Class A motorhome compared to when we went out west to the Grand Canyon with the travel trailer. So we're going to kind of expound on that a little bit and let you know the differences, you know, between having a truck, pulling a trailer and having the motorhome. So one of the things that I've really enjoyed about the layout of this RV is the kitchen and the pantry space. Uh, I like He's the, the cook. Right. So he needs to have it the way he wants it. <laughs> That's right. And I'll have to say, you know, our Jayco Eagle travel trailer, it was pretty good too, but the pantry was disconnected from the kitchen. So basically, you know, to get to the pantry, most of the pantry space, I would have to walk around the island, you know, not a big deal, obviously. It sounds like you're nitpicking when you're talking like this, mm -hmm. but in here, everything is like, I'm so cooking, right. I'm cooking here and I have pantry above me. I have pantry behind me. And it's just, I don't know, it just seems like it's all very convenient right there when I'm cooking and to be able to grab stuff. So I love the kitchen layout in this. I love the full-size refrigerator. Uh, my only concern is with a residential refrigerator, and I, I don't want to borrow trouble, but if there's ever an issue with mm -hmm. it, having to have it replaced and how you'd get it in or out. You know, I think you have to have a slide out. The basically whole thing removed. taken out. And this slide out that it's on is all one wall. Oh, yeah. It's big. So, yeah. That leads me to another thing is the opposing slides. We love the, we looked at a lot of class A motorhomes and honestly, most of them don't have opposing slides in the living area. And that was a big no, no for Allie. I definitely wanted opposing slides because I need that room. I yeah. need to feel the space. So, so when we found the Jayco and the Integra, these models that have the opposing slide, it just opens up the living room so much more, mm -hmm. you know? and. That leads me to another point. Nikki loves this layout with the whole long run. It gives her plenty of space to have the zoomies every now and again, and she just loves running up and back and down this RV, so. Yes, she does. She couldn't do that in the Eagle, that's nope. for sure. Nope, So basically, when we were starting to look for a Class A motorhome, the first one we were looking at um, didn't have the second slide like this, and then when Allie seen this one, she was like, yes, this, is, this one would work for me. Right. When we found this model too, it ended up having two bathrooms, which... Yes, which is an awesome thing. I love being able to have my freedom to, to take my showers and get ready. And, and if Chuck needs to use it or for have friends over, family over, and they need to use the bathroom, they don't, I don't have to worry about having to stop what I'm doing. When we were thinking about this particular layout and having the two bathrooms, we thought, well, do we really need two bathrooms? But I tell you what, since we've had it, I don't think we would ever want to go back to not <laughs> no. having that half bath. It is, it's it's been a nice. game changer. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. For me, one of the really big things that I've been enjoying about this is the ease of setup and teardown once we get to a campground. I mean, we're set up in no time. Towing the Bronco is so much different than like towing a trailer. It's, I can unhook that in less than two minutes and backing in, hitting auto level, even though sometimes the auto level doesn't get it 100% level. It's just a matter of, you know, doing a little tweaking. Tweak. Yeah. yeah, but it's just, it's so, so easy to, to set up and tear down. All the storage space that we've oh, gained. Oh my goodness, the storage space, the storage space is unreal. Yeah. And every little storage area, he's organized with bins and all the chairs where they're supposed to be. It's, he knows right where to go to put, mm -hmm. pull everything out, set it up. And when it's time to pack it to go home, he can put it right back in its spot quick as everything to, set up and tear down. Yep. I do miss the outside kitchen on our Jayco Eagle. I will say that. I do miss having just a door where you flip it up and you got your outside kitchen so that there. That would be something that you wish you had. Yeah. But 
like I said, there's no perfect situation or RV for every every little thing. You have to make compromises here and there. That's a small compromise. I will take this layout and losing the kitchen over that. So it's 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 nice. Really like it. So I have to say, one of the number one things that I really wanted in this RV was to have the space for entertaining and having friends and family together because we love traveling with friends and family. Yeah. Um, this RV has been perfect for that. Having the the sofas and the front uh, seating for when we when we drive, having those two swivel back, having the table, just making this big circle of friends being able to talk to each other. Love that. Yes, we've had as many as eight people in here entertaining, and everybody's you know able to look at each other and be a part of the conversation, which is nice. Yes. Very nice. And I'll expound on that too because we do like to have friends stay with us from time to time. And having the overhead bunk is another thing that I will say that I really like because they can have their bed made up the whole time they're here with us. They can keep their clothes up there and on all that kind of thing. We don't have to like fold the couch out. I mean, we do have a fold out couch here and we've used it, but typically we don't have that. And so it's not like you have to make up the couch every morning when you want to, you know, start your day and everything and We've take it had up space. so many people stay in that bunk already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would say probably around almost 10 people have yeah. stayed in that bunk so far. I mean, we one of our first trips, we actually slept um, six people in here. It was her dad yeah. and stepmom, my sister and Nick and me and Nikki. So it, it has the ability to sleep a lot of people, which is nice. The Jayco Eagle that we had, yeah. you really couldn't get around the bed to get dressed and it was kind of annoying and I told Chuck that the next RV we get I want space where I can walk around it I can get dressed without feeling so cramped you and can actually make the bed in this one very easily yes yeah and I'm loving the closet space the hanging wardrobe closet space yep. and the space behind the TV the extra cubby hole for clothes and you have three drawers and the cabinets on either side of the bed gives you extra storage space to put things in there as well. So I just feel like the storage in the bedroom and the space is perfect. Yeah, and not only that, those little cabinets and little nightstands on either side of the bed have wireless charging, which is mm -hmm. pretty cool. And we, we like to be able to set our phone down and charge it overnight. It's, it's great. So I kind of touched on this a little bit on our video of Dodge City. And if you haven't seen these videos, by the way, of our Christmas trip, we'll leave links down below and we'll put a couple links up in the cards up above. Worth checking out, you know. Uh, that was a pretty epic uh, trip, to yes, say the least. But I kind of touched on this a little bit <clears throat> about, you know, because we made a trip to the Grand Canyon in 2019 with our F-250 and our Jayco Whitehawk at that point. So I was like wanting to compare the travel style between traveling with the truck and the trailer compared to the Class A motorhome and how much difference it is. And if we liked it a lot better, well, I have to say for me, 100% Class A all the way. Mm -hmm. And that's, hey, that rhymes. <laughs> but You didn't feel the stress with driving? It doesn't wear you out as much? I don't get near as tired driving the Class A, you know. It's, uh, you know, and of course, obviously, we don't have to stop as much because somebody's got to go to the bathroom. If somebody, yeah. hints, somebody <laughs> has to go to the bathroom, they can just get up and go. I love that option to be able to get up, make a sandwich, grab a snack, and then a drink, yep. go to the bathroom, all of those things, get Nikki her food, her water. I mean, it, we don't have to worry about stopping. Yep. You can just get up and do whatever I want. <clears throat> and I would have to say, you know, sitting in that chair and stretching out my legs, my legs, knees get so sore sitting in that truck for, yeah. you know, eight to 12 hours of drive here. It's nothing. I just feel like I'm sitting in my living room at home watching TV. I bring my computer. I have um, my phone to play on. Yep. You know, it's, it's nice. So much more convenient and relaxing. And we didn't even realize how much nicer, honestly, it was until we just took this recent trip to Boone and did some cabin camping. And that was last week's video. And if you haven't seen that, we'll leave a link to that as well. I forgot how cramped it can be. Oh, yeah. And I forgot how much my back hurts after a while <laughs> driving. You know, I mean, the truck is comfortable, but for some reason, these seats in the Class A and driving it, my back never hurts. So it's it's right. it's it's awesome. We do we do really love the upgrade of, of the travel experience with the Class A. We absolutely love the big Class A windows. That is one thing that we uh, we thought we would love, and we for surely do love it because when we're driving down the road, it 
you know, it just feels like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. You can just see everything. Now, that said, we do miss the rear window that we had in our Jayco Eagle. So when we were back to the campsites, you know, we had that big picture window in the back. And we've planned on pulling this RV in when we have a really beautiful spot with the, you know, backed up to a lake or something. We really haven't done that yet. We really haven't found a camp spot so far that we would really want to take the time to pull it in and have to run an extension cord over to the other side. But that is something we would, you know, do. That's why we bought an extra extension cord. So I'm going to tell you guys another thing that I am loving compared to pulling the trailer is getting gas. Getting gas in this RV is so much easier. It's, it's a gas engine, so we still have to go to the gas lanes. But just getting around and having the Bronco behind us, it, uh, it tracks and tows behind us differently than a trailer would. I've only had one stressful situation where we actually had to unhook the Bronco because we got kind of in a tight spot where I couldn't swing wide enough to uh, get past the pumps. So basically I just jumped out, I unhooked the Bronco, parked it in a parking spot, and then backed the RV up just enough to where I could swing wide and get around the pumps. Once I did that, I just pulled the RV over to the side jumped back in the Bronco, hooked it back up, and two minutes later, we're back on the road. So that was that was the only issue we've ever had, getting gas in the RV here. It's, uh, it's been a lot less stressful getting gas, I'll just say that. And I touched on this a little bit too on our trip out west, that basically, if we was to stop at a rest stop, providing we were just me and Allie, and no, no pet to take care of, we would never have to leave the RV. It could be raining, snowing, whatever outside. We can stop, pull over, go to the bathroom, fix a sandwich, jump back on the road and keep going but obviously we have a dog and uh, so we did have to take Nikki out to go potty a couple times but if you don't have a dog man a motorhome is uh, you never really have to leave it and another thing that we're really real at least I'm really loving and this really came into play when we were out west with the snow and the ice and everything is the slide toppers and even here like in campgrounds here where leaves are falling and whatnot just not having to worry about getting up on the top of the roof and blowing off the slides before you run them in. Such a time saver, you know? And we did worry a little bit, or I did worry, I should say, a little bit when we were in Dodge City and the wind was blowing so hard that the bedroom slide topper, you could hear it whipping and I was afraid it was gonna rip loose. And it did happen to our neighbor next door. But not to us. But not to us, luckily. We felt really bad for them. I did. But we and were very thankful that it didn't happen to us. Yeah, so. That's the only drawback is, you know, if your slide's out and topper's up and the wind is blowing, it could be a potential problem for ripping it, but... Uh, and the winds were at what point, like 23, 24 oh, miles were, per they, hour? They were gusting up to 40 miles an hour in Dodge City when we were there. It was crazy. And they were consistently 15, 20, 25 miles an hour and gusting up towards a 40 miles an hour. So, so that kind of gives you an idea of what these slide toppers can handle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I, when I woke up that morning and I heard it whipping around, I, I told Allie, I said, let's get, get the bed made and get the slide in there so we don't have that issue. But no, I mean, the slide toppers have been great. You know, obviously you can have those on any kind of RV. We could have had them on our Jayco Eagle, but we, uh, we just never put them on. But we don't have to worry about that here, so we're lucky. So another really important thing that I really wanted for this RV was to be able to have theater seating across from the TV. And the other layout that we were looking at, the TV was kind of at an angle position. And I just know that a lot of times we like to watch movies when we're camping and having friends over or family camping with us. I wanted to be able to have a position where four people could be able to sit or run across from the TV to watch a movie. And that's where the TV is. But you know what? The TV is not there right now because the TV is in a televator. And which is nice because... It's nice, but I, I honestly, I thought it was going to be cooler than it was. It's cool, but God, it's slow. Oh, it's pulling the blinds up with it. But you get the idea. There's a TV there. I'm going to put it back down for now. So another thing that we've enjoyed is being able to have Nikki travel with us on the floor between us. And we bought this bed recently that is perfect for her. It sits right between the two chairs and she likes to lay on the bed with us and... She travels, yeah, she travels perfectly She's there. She's great right there. And she it, does walk back and forth sometimes when the slide outs, slide outs are in. She will pace back and forth, but very rarely. Very she rarely. That. She likes to lay here most of the time. Mm -hmm. And when we're stopped and we're camped, these little cup holders right there, 
is a perfect little plate. And right on cue, she's, she's going to drink her water. water. <laughs> it's basically like a perfect little thing to for her to hold her water bowl. Nikki, Nikki says, I approve. <laughs> now, obviously, this doesn't really have anything to do with the RV itself, but got to reiterate how much we're loving the snap pads. Especially great when you're parked on concrete like this. Keeps that metal from, you know, hitting the concrete. Keeps everything very stable. So we'll leave a link down in the description below because uh, we do have a uh, special discount code. If you order through snap pads, we make a little bit of a commission and you'll save a little bit of money. So if you're looking to get a set of snap pads, make sure to use our Alley Chuck Adventure code down below in the description. Here's something that is not really RV related, but it is something that we have put and purchased in our RV is these rugs. They're not ruggables, but they are knockoffs. But let me tell you, these rugs are amazing. They're so easy to just fold up and we store them underneath the table on our um, travels. But then when we go home, we can take them and throw them right in the washing machine and they wash very nicely and dry easily as well. And they're soft as anything on your yeah. feet when you're in they here are barefoot. They're so soft. Yeah. I, I love them. You can see we have three different sizes and they just fit throughout the whole RV. We have them in the, love them. Yeah, and we have them in the house too. Yeah. I mean, we have them in our home, so it's like, love them. Can't say enough so about them. We will put a link down below if you would like to purchase them. So with all the positives that we've just talked about that we love about the Class A, uh, we'll give you a couple of little things that we would like to change if we could. One of the things that I would like to change about this RV is the table. So we were just talking about, you know, tonight we were going to play some Cards Against Humanities and I don't like how this table curves right here. I wish that it came out, you know, more of like a rectangular shape. Yeah. Um, I do think I'm going to I change like that top. I a little bit of space here. Mm -hmm. And I think that we're going to eventually put a new topper on put there. Put a new topper on it, yeah. I mean, honestly, even the cup holders, <clears throat> we have never used those cup holders. If it's, yeah, right. I mean, I guess it would be good if you if you had kids or something like that, and you were yeah. they were traveling here yeah. and they have a place to set their cups. But having you know four people sit here and having a dinner together is a little tight. It is. Um, it just two people is fine. Yeah, but it's four perfect people, for it's too tight. Yeah. Perfect for two people, but playing yeah. dominoes or cards, it's a little tight. Yeah. So I would definitely say change this top. <laughs> yep. I just don't know why they rounded it so much. I you know, know, right? It doesn't I think make they try to make it kind of decorative, but. Maybe it's easier, supposedly, quote unquote, quote, quote unquote, <laughs> to get in and out of the maybe. bench. And but, maybe when it's, the slide is in, maybe it makes it easier to pass by and not bump into it. Maybe I don't know, I don't know. but I think I want. I do want to change that. When we bought this, it was another RV, not too far from where we were, mm -hmm. but it was a different coloring. It was like a darker wood, um, which I think is fine. I mean, it's just not what we we wanted. We, we love that. House. We like the white. We love that in the, the, in the white, white. In the in the in the Jayco Eagle, we love the the farmhouse. It just makes to me. It makes it feel more open. Yep. Although this is dark here, but but it, yeah, you got to have a little bit of contrast. Otherwise, if it, everything is too white, it would feel a little bit too much like a hospital. Right. <laughs> so it's I think they, nice having a contrast. I think they did a, the right amount of white with dark to to give and it a I contrast. I really am enjoying <laughs> these. Over the windows, too. The balances? Yeah, the balances, I think, are really pretty. Yeah, they're classic. They're nothing gaudy or anything. Yeah, yeah. very simple. Yeah. I'm a classic person, so I like things very simple. We still haven't really found a good, you know, thing to use. I mean, we got our Christmas stuff in there now, which you can actually see the yeah. Christmas stuff through the glass, <laughs> I know. which is a little odd. And the <clears throat> fallish stuff. But. Yeah. So I'm not sure. You don't want to, you know, the only thing is... Traveling, you wouldn't want to have anything in here that Too would, heavy, that could that break, could the, break glass. the glass. Yeah. yeah, potentially shift around and break the glass. But all in all, you know, the backsplash is what it is. It's uh, you know vinyl stickers, which had some issues in the back corner here when we first got it. We had to fix it. Yeah, you know, the booth dinette is okay for what it is, but these cushions do not want to stay in place. And when you're sitting on them, they tend to, they tend to push out like that. And it, basically, they put these little tiny things that are supposed to grab the back of the cushion. And you can see it's already worn a hole in this one, it's starting to wear a hole in that. 
and they don't even really hold it in place. So we're going to have to come up with something else there. I'm going to have to put some real Velcro on it or something. But, yeah, I think it wouldn't be so bad if the cushions just stayed in place. It's not that it's that uncomfortable to sit. It just gets uncomfortable when you're sitting and these cushions start working their way out from underneath your rear end, you know? So recently we in the video, um, we talked about having a map with magnets or stickers to talk about all the different places that we have visited, all the different states. And, and we thank everybody for all your comments yes. and suggestions because... And we've made the decision mm -hmm. to only put the magnet or sticker on of that state on the map if we have actually stayed there overnight right? or we've actually been there and did something, something yeah. big, something important. I don't even think we're going to do it if we just overnight like in a Cracker Barrel. I think we no, have to like to literally be, be at a campground. campground. Right. Or actually visit something there and spend time there. Right. Do something um, touristy. Right. So the thing about it is, so where are we going to put it? We, we have all of our stickers here and we just bought this for our last trip out west for the holidays, for Christmas holidays. And we're, we've got only this little bit of space left. I'm thinking this is the door to our bedroom. So I'm thinking it would be kind of cool to put it on this wall behind the door. Yeah, you would only see it when the door is closed, but there's a lot of space on this wall that we could use to do something with. So I don't know, either that or maybe on the outside on one of our slide out. Yeah, I see a lot of people do that just to kind of show off where we've been. Yeah. Um, what do you think, guys? Leave us a comment down yeah, below. You know? I, I feel like there's something needs to be behind here. I mean, honestly, either, either that or we could even put it on the door itself yeah, too. True. You know? Yeah. I don't know. Oh let my us, gosh, there's so many places. Yeah, let us know what you think. Yeah. You know? <laughs> do we put it where we can only see it, or do we put it on the outside of the so rig somewhere? So can see where we've been. Right. So while we were here camping this weekend, too, we did do a little off-roading again. Uh, we have a video that shows a lot more of the off-roading stuff that we've done up here before, and we can leave a link to that as well. But it was, uh, it was fun meeting up with Jamie and Sharon. <laughs> it was going to be their last camping trip in their current rig. So... They were camping over at Tillis Hill, and we decided to stay here at Holder Mind with Jeff and Marcy because it's pet friendly here at Holder Mind. It's not pet friendly at Tillis Hill. So the Baldersons had mentioned to us about a place to eat on Saturday. We were wanting to grab some lunch, and he had mentioned about this restaurant. It's very historical, called Coney Island Drive-In, and this restaurant opened in the 1960s, and. The legend says that Elvis Presley was filming in a uh, filming a movie in Inverness at the time and decided to venture on over to Brooksville to grab a foot long hot dog there. And then in the 70s, um, there was a movie that was being filmed near, near there called the movie was called Death Dream. And it was the highlight of the movie was filmed there at that location. Um, there were several hands that changed um, of ownership there. And about 2020, around that time, a new location has been opened. And since then, several others are starting to open. So it's expanding. Pretty neat. The food. But we've been to the original, we can say. <laughs> and the food was reasonably priced there. Um, it had a really neat area in the, behind the building um, with a lot of picnic tables set up where people could sit and eat. And Nikki was able to go. It's dog friendly. Um, I had the chicken sandwich, and Chuck had a foot-long hot dog. He liked it, and I liked mine. So in conclusion, I would have to say that we made the right choice to go with the Class A. Mm -hmm. um, definitely, we are in love with the, the motorhome lifestyle. We do enjoy the travel trailer, but I would definitely say that the motorhome is more for us. Yeah, and, you know, we're planning for the future, so hopefully... You know, within a year or so, two years maybe, we can start doing more extended trips and kind of something of that nature. And I think this is going to suit us very well going forward. And I'm going to say one other thing that we learned about Integra, that within the first two years of ownership, you can schedule an appointment. If you want to take it back to the factory in Indiana, which is what we're planning on doing, probably maybe November of this year, we're going to see if we can get it set up for like our Thanksgiving break. Take it back to the factory. They will go through everything. Anything they find wrong, they will fix, you know, right there on the spot. So 
we haven't had too many things. I mean, we've had a few things. If you've watched uh, the Sebastian video where I moved the chairs and little nitpicking things, but uh, you know that's going to happen in motor. That's going to happen in any kind of RV. It's just the way it is. Yep. You know, they're hand built. But we haven't had anything major. Knock on wood. Yes. So very fortunate so far. I think we pretty happy with everything here. So. But it would be nice to get it up there, have them go through it, and have the peace of mind that, hey, you know, they've went through it, and then, hey, we've, everything's fixed. So That's right. So we will see you guys in the next video, and uh, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.